my idol, my idol, my everything, my life. It's so big, I can't introduce it in any world. <laughs> How would I say? It's, it's everything to me. It's my spiritual leader. Me marching from all around the world for, for the sun, for the sun glass prophet, walking towards him on our feet, walking days after days, just for him, sacrifice himself for us. Because you give me a lesson, what is the right, what is the wrong, what is the zulm, what is the muslimian. Just like everybody else, we are here to pay our respects for the great sacrifice that he did for all, for all, the, for all humankind. Guiding light for all people. Um, this walk is especially uh, exemplifies him in that sense that it can bring together everybody from doesn't matter where you're from, who you are. We can all come together under one flag, under one banner, uh, in the name of uh, Islam and in the name of uh, Imam Hussein. İmam Hüseyin bizim için eşk seferdi. İmam Hüseyin'e olan sevgimiz kalbimizde de. So I would like to say İmam Hüseyin, I would like to thank you. Because İmam Hüseyin has shown us the true religious of Rasulullah. Lebek ya Hüseyin. Islam is Hüseyin, Hüseyin is Islam. Salamun Aleyküm. Whatever we we have in our life is from Imam Hussein, and it's to all Imam. That's Hussein is to us. More than 20 million people are going to a tomb whose owner died more than 1,300 years ago. Today, I look at the pictures and ask myself, is it possible for so many people to go towards him after so many years? Who is Hussain? Imam Hussain is my Imam, my heart, my, my soul, my everything. He's... he's everything for me. Hussein is a savior. That's it. Hussein is a savior of Islam. Uh, Imam Hussein is uh, inspiring us uh, for uh, not accepting uh, what they call the bad things and to say no to, uh, to whatever wrong. We have to do it in the right way. The foundation of Islam, the principle of Islam, the message of Islam, the lesson of Islam, the main central idea of Islam has been given by the Imam Hussain. Nothing, there is nothing more than Imam Hussain and there is no, no, any individual more than Imam Hussain. He gave his, he gave his blood for, for us. So uh, it's nothing to, to give to give our souls to him. It's it's nothing. 
Uh, Imam Hussein <coughs> teaches about humanity. Imam Hussein teaches how we go against the tyranny. For example, in the modern world tyranny, how we should go against them. Even though we are small, even though we are weak, but in spiritual, we have to fight the tyranny. So this is what we are our understanding about the Imam Hussein. When I began the first day of travel, I said to myself, I face an event held by people in one part of the world every year. I reached there with such thoughts to hold Arbaeen. After traveling for a few hours, I see some banners and flags showing that it is not a usual and indigenous commemoration. It is a part of human history, having some strange secrets. I go before the owners of flags coming from different parts of the world and travelling the path like me, towards the place whose people are prepared to entertain us in the banquet with more than 20 million guests. We can see many Guinness records are broken on this path and I should understand its reason. Who is Hussein? for whom so many enthusiastic people from all over the world are coming. I have never seen such an event. During the several days I was traveling on the path, whenever I felt tired, I went into the houses or tents called Mokeb by residents. Interestingly, some people ask me to rest in their houses. There is no place that I remain hungry or thirsty because when I feel hunger or thirst, all things are supplied, and I can choose what and when to eat. But in this case, there was something else. This great banquet and strange entertainment were just the beginning of something. Something helping me understand great things. <laughs> Yeah, the, the statistics shows that uh, uh, the first year it was 15 million and second year it was 20 million. And right now, it seems it's 35 to 40 million people. Some questions fill my mind. Why the number of people increases year by year? What is on this path? Like a lot of people, food everywhere, wherever you go. People, people trying to help wherever you want. People opening their doors, opening their homes, giving whatever they have just for the sake of these people. The security situation is getting better, so it's a little bit safer to travel. But as the things are open, the borders are open, and Iraqi government is giving a lot of visas and things, so there is no any problem, and everyone now wants to come. In my home, in my house itself, there are a lot of individuals, but from all those individuals, everyone wants to come now. Why do so many people leave their homes and jobs and traverse thousands of kilometers to reach here? What magnet collects so many people with bare feet around itself in a field full of energy? Where does such energy originate? Because every year the Shia people is becoming more and more and they are loving Imam Hussein more and more because they are knowing 
the miracles of Imam Hussein and how what he's what he have done in Karbala, so people is going through Imam Hussein. The word and the message is being sent out to people who might have not uh, heard it before, or maybe they didn't understand it, or they uh, they don't know what it really means. The other peoples, which is not Muslims, Shia or Sunni, he reading uh, about Imam Hussein, and he knows. Who's the Imam Hussein in the fact? Before maybe Shia or some of Sunni knows, but now every word know what who's the who's the Imam Hussein. When people hear Arba'in and they say they they see the people marching from Najaf to Karbala, they wondering what is that? And then they gonna search. When they search, they're gonna know that they, the people who walk from Najaf, marching from Najaf to Karbala, is just for Imam Hussein. Yani, one uh, 80 kilometer walking just for Imam Hussein. That's the big, the big sacrifice I think for people because in around the world there is nothing like that. Only in Karbala, only in Najaf, only in Imam Hussein ceremony. After traveling for some days, I was likened to such people. I went forth to the source of energy, and I was feeling the existence of someone that can't be orally expressed. Someone like Jesus Christ. I have a similar feeling at times when I am alone. I could not believe. I became like someone I do not know. It seems I was with them for many years, living with them like members of a family in the hot days and cold nights of the desert. There is the no boundary of there is the no boundary of tongue, there is the no boundary of the culture, there is no boundary of only the one leader. When I spoke to them, they said something I have never heard. They uttered such words as stranger, oppressed and parched. Maybe you will find a land where you will not find a Muslim, but you will not find a land where you will not find Hussein. I'd like to know the meaning of these words, because when they use such words, tears fall from their eyes. Now that I review the words, my eyes become wet, as if these words are a common language of the world. Hussein was a stranger, oppressed and killed while he was thirsty. He was the guest of 12,000 men. They wrote letters and invited him to establish justice. But in this land he was left alone due to his goodness and was killed with a dry mouth. They even had no mercy for his family. They captured his small daughters and took them by foot. When I heard such a story from loving people, unknowingly, tears were flowing from my eyes. There was a strange sound in my ears. Perhaps... This has been repeatedly hummed for some hundreds of years.
Is there anybody to help me? Is there anybody to protect my innocent family? Is there anybody to give some water to my six-month-old son, dying of thirst? I am a guest invited by you. Why do you kill my son? And please forgive me by my sins. Only, only, only one thing I have. My, my body, my mind, my soul. I am come forward with you. I am coming with you. I'm sorry, Imam. I can't. No words, I don't know how to express. Maybe I will cry, maybe I will fall on his legs. I don't know what to say. I'm speechless when I see Imam Hussein, I will be speechless. My Lord, Imam Hussain, my Lord, my sir, Imam Hussain, like, uh, we are sorry for, uh, sure. we are still uh, failing you, we are still not uh, believer enough. Hussain was a man of God who went to people for the sake of God and became a martyr in the way of God. From such people, I discovered strange things. One of the descendants of Imam Hussein has continued in his way. His name is Imam Mahdi. Surprisingly, they say, he'll come along with Jesus and save the world from tyranny. There was a question that was sending me mad. All people have common prayer amongst themselves. O oh God, hasten his reappearance, return him unto us. It was like an invitation sent to Hussein. So I ask a question. Of course we're gonna help Imam Mahdi. Of course. Because he's he's the one that left after Imam Hussein. That's gonna save all the world. So we're gonna help Imam Mahdi because he will save all the world. It is a must to help Imam Mahdi. We help him, we, we, we die for him. We give him our souls. Because uh, that's, uh, that's, what, uh, that's what we are. That's what, uh, what we're born for. Inshallah we will help him until the last breath we have. And I think every people has come here to Arba'ini uh, is going to do everything they can. And we're going to stand with Imam al-Hajjah, Ajallah, Faraj sharif Millions of people go to Imam Hussein to show him that his uh, last son, Imam Mahdi, won't be alone anymore. Of course, we'll definitely help him. That's why we're here, to show that we're not, uh, we're not, the, we're not Ahli Kufa. To show that we're, you know, we'll always support him to the end, to, all, to, the, to the last drop of our blood. We're all, we, we're all ready to die for, uh, for him.
The path is the practice of people making themselves ready to welcome Mahdi and Jesus Christ. We are all here to remember the Imam Hussain and when the Imam Mahdi will come, we all will be with the Imam Mahdi alayhi salam. Doesn't matter whether there is oppressor or whatever, but inshallah we are here, always here to with Imam Mahdi alayhi salam. Just all we have to do is to prepare ourselves and to prepare our Dawla Karima. That's we call it in Arabic, Dawla Karima. The, the feeling for most of the people who are walking and my feeling also is that uh, we are moving towards that direction to help him. When we say Labayka Ya Hussein, that's what we mean, right? So we want to be there, we want to help. If only we were there um, uh, to serve. And, uh, and I believe the people here are showing that that's what they want to do. And that's the message that, that they're, they're sending across. Might be we are mistaken. Might be we are falters. Might be we are committing sins. But for what we are looking for Imam, we want Imam to put us on his way if we are on wrong way. People coming from all over the world say to Imam Hussein, We will help your son, and we do not betray Jesus Christ. How kind the guests are, how generous the hosts are. Here, all people are the same. These people entered the path of Imam Hussein and continue moving towards Mahdi and Jesus Christ. Here is the gate of heaven. Here is Kabbalah.